and welcome back, viewers, to a special episode here at Sage Light Bulbs, where today we're going to be restoring this old school bathroom vanity fixture back to service above my desk. So, originally, this would have been in your bathroom like this, alongside the mirror. And you could actually like rotate this if you need more or less light, or you know, just want it on the wall ambiently, or you know, however you whatever you wanted to do. And how cool would that have been, by the way? But today, I just am gonna hang it on the wall. So, the first hurdle here was getting a bulb for it. Now, this is the bulb we're gonna be using. It is a F15 T12 Cool White, and this is unbranded completely, and also has so much mercury in it, you can hear it rolling around. So that's cool. It just slides in like that. Okay, pretty simple, really. However, finding this bulb was not so easy because what everybody wants you to use is this. It's an F20 T12, uh, 24 inch, and as you can see, it is much too long, but it is also a much more standard size here. And also, even though it's bigger, you can't hear the mercury in it. Wait, so this this old guy we've got here, which is actually brand new, cost me six dollars, really not too bad, is just really laden with mercury. So now on the underside here, now I figured we were gonna be able to convert this to preheat. However, we actually are not going to be able to, assuming this old ballast here is good. The Keystone Transformer Company from Philadelphia Trigger Start, which is also the same, it's the same thing as Rapid Start, just for smaller bulbs. Uh, and the only thing it looks like I need to do is add a power cord. Uh, I, I, I did want to convert this to preheat, I even ordered a starter, but you can't do that with Trigger Start. You have to get a whole new ballast, and at that point, like, why? Why even bother? So, let me wire this up and see what we can do. I'm going to turn it on. That's all it does. So, we need to change the ballast. Which means that we can change it to, to preheat after all, which was my original plan. So, friends, check this out. Uh, at least in Washington State, you can't get magnetic ballots anymore. However, if they're under tw 20 watts or under, you can still get magnetic ballasts. So I just went to our local farm supply store and got a brand new uh, preheat magnetic ballast. And I ordered this starter and I just had it on hand here. So let's go ahead and install those. Okay, friends, uh, where we left off was the light did not work, and I got a new preheat ballast and starter for it, and I have installed those, and it is working wonderfully, so I will show you now what it looks like under here. So, essentially, I didn't have a socket for the starter, so I soldered the leads directly to it, and then used this gummy worm thing to stick it in there, alright? Uh, amazingly... This was an exact fit. I just had to knock out one of the little hole punch things for that they made in the factory, which means they've been using this same part for like 60 years, which is really cool. If something works, just stick with it. Okay, so basically, hot lead comes in here, is switched with this little switch here, okay? Then it runs to the ballast, then it comes out the other side of the ballast, runs to one end of the first lamp holder, comes out that lamp holder, runs to one end of the starter, comes out the starter, runs to one end of the other lamp holder, and then the other lead of the other lamp holder goes back out the line cord. And it's just that simple. All right, I'm gonna position it so you can see the starter better. Three, two, one. Great. And the strange psychedelic uh, stuff happening in the tube does go away eventually. I don't know why it's doing that. It, it doesn't do that every start. Here, let's do another one. See, there we go. That one's perfect. Maybe you just have to do it twice. I, I don't know why that is. Also, this ballast is actually rated for uh, 15 through 20 watt bulbs. 
And one thing that does make me wonder here, the directions on this thing that, that came with it are copyrighted in 2006 and say Advanced Transformer Company. And uh, Advanced Transformer Company is now Philips. So I'm not sure... I, I, they, this farm store I got this from, I think they might have just had this sitting back there for 20 years and only now sold it, which is very interesting. They must have bought a huge pack of them, but it works great and I am very happy. So let's do one more start just for fun. There we go. So I am... Uh, very pleased with this and I, I even polished it and so you can see this little reflector thing. I can change the way the direction it points. And I, I just am so happy. I mean look at that. Hey friends, hello and welcome back here. So I've had this installed for about a week now with my nice new bulb here, new ballast and starter. And what would happen is after about an hour of runtime, the starter would strike out of the blue and start screwing stuff up and overheating the ballast, which is obviously not going to work. So I think what happened is when I soldered the leads here directly to the starter, I think I damaged the thermal properties of that bimetallic strip. And so that's why the starter is activating when it's not supposed to. And so to counteract this problem, I have in fact ordered a real socket for the starter and another starter altogether. This is the correct starter and it has a condenser in it. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. So let's go ahead and do that. We're at about two hours of runtime here and have not been having issues. The ballast is still, well, slightly noisier than it was when it was cool at a reasonable temperature. Let's see when I turn it off how we do a restart here. Not great, but I mean, if you're into blinking lights, that's cool. But what concerns me is that was not an ideal start, but I don't know. It, it went. Let's do it one more time. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to call that a success for now. And uh, I'm going to go hang this back up on my wall. I look forward very much so to using it. Thank you and goodbye, friends.